Hi guys, in this video we are going to learn how you can apply these carousal effects in your PowerPoint presentations and create clickable links in your video to give stunning effects to your presentation. So what are you waiting for? Let's get started. First step is to choose a blank layout. To do this, click on the Home tab and from there click New Slide and select Blank. Now click on View tab, select the Slide Master and click on Insert Placeholder. Add a picture. Change the size of picture as shown and align it in center and middle. Now we have to make copies of the picture holder. Use Ctrl C for copy and paste it using Ctrl V. I am creating six copies of this picture holder. Now to make sure all pictures have same distance in between, select all and go to align tab and select distribute horizontally. To show all as synchronized, we are going to hold the shift key, select all one by one and move it a little bit. Now close the Slide Master and go to Home tab. Click on the New Slide option and you can see that the slide you created is shown. Add that slide. Now we will place images on the picture holder. I have already images saved on my desktop. Just click on the image icon and insert your images. After inserting all images, we are going to apply rectangle shapes which will be the same size as the picture holder. We are using these as a reference to the picture holder. Now create five rectangle shapes. Now hold the shift key and select all shapes, bring it in center. Select all shapes and in shape format select group. Now we select all pictures holding shift key and go to picture format and in color option apply a light gray background to all pictures. Now using the shift key select all pictures and move to the side and bring the first one in the middle. Now select the first picture and go to picture format and select the original color from color option. Now duplicate the first slide. Now move the second picture in center as shown below the middle shape and this time change the color of the first picture to gray and second one back to original. Now duplicate the second slide. We are going to repeat this procedure for all the other pictures, moving them in middle and changing their color accordingly. Now duplicate the next slide, moving the next picture in line as shown and change their color to original and others to gray. After finishing all slides, we are going to delete our shapes guideline as we no longer needed them now. Now insert an eclipse shape on the top of the picture like shown. Go to shape format and change its color to white and select no outline. Now duplicate the shape and apply it below the picture. Now we select both shapes using shift key, copy the shapes and paste it on all our slides. After this click on slide view to see how the carousel effect is looking. It's looking perfect. Now we are going to apply morph transition to all these slides. On first slide go to transitions tab and click on morph transition. Change the duration to 1.50 and select apply to all. Now click on slide show to see how it looks. You can see how the slides are moving smoothly forward and backward. That is due to morph transition. Now we add text to the pictures. Click on Insert Text Box, Add Text, Change Font and Size. Apply Outline to Text and change its weight. Duplicate the text and add it below Picture. Now using Shift Key Copy both text and paste it on all slides. Change text on all slides as per the picture. Next step is to add clickable links to these slides. To do this, go to Insert tab and click on Icons. In the search bar write arrow and insert the selected arrows. We will first add left and right arrow icon to our slides. After inserting arrows, we have to add hyperlinks to these arrows. To do this, right click on left arrow and select place in this document. For the left arrow, we will select previous slide option. Now right click on right arrow, click on link and this time select next slide option. Now copy both arrows using shift key and apply to other slides. This is how it looks in the slideshow. When you click on right arrow, it will move to right and when you click on left arrow, it will move to left. Now in order to add details of these pictures, we will create a duplicate slide of our first image which is Pepsi. Move this slide below all the carousel slides and we are going to move both eclipse shapes with text upwards and downwards. Delete the arrows. Using shift key, remove all other pictures except the Pepsi image. Remove their picture placeholders. Now increase the size of the image and insert a text box with some text. Now we have to connect this slide to our first slide, which is Pepsi. 
To do this, go to first slide and right click on Pepsi image and insert link. Select place in this document and choose slide 7 from the list. As you can see, we cannot move back to Pepsi image from here. To do this, we have to add a link to our description slide. Click on icon tab and insert a left arrow. Now click on arrow and insert link. Select slide 1 as link. Now we click on slide view to see how it looks. As you can see when we click on image, it takes me to Pepsi description. And by clicking on arrow, it takes me back to Pepsi carousel. Now we will duplicate the second slide and move it below the Pepsi description. Move the eclipse shape with text upwards and remove all other pictures except the Coca-Cola image. Increase the size of the image and insert a text box with some text. Copy the arrow from the Pepsi slide and place it on the Coca-Cola slide. Now we have to connect this slide to our second slide which is Coca-Cola. To do this, go to second slide and right click on Coca-Cola image and insert link. Select place in this document and choose slide 8 from the list. Now go back to Coca-Cola description, click on arrow and first remove link as it was copied from Pepsi and then insert link from placeholder. Select slide 2. Now click slideshow to see how it looks. Both are working perfectly. Now create duplicate of third slide and move it below Coca-Cola description. Move Eclipse shape and remove the images and placeholders as shown. Copy text from previous slide and paste it. Now go to third slide, click on sprite image and add link of slide 9 to it. Go back to slide 9 and first remove link and then apply link of slide 3. Let's see how the carousel effect is looking now. See all slides are perfectly linked together. To save your time, I have created all other description duplicates of other slides left using the same method applied to first three slides. You have noticed that I did not remove eclipse shape from any of the slides. It's because of the morph transition animation effect which will be shifted from carousel effect to the description slide. Now click on slideshow to see our carousel effect in action. Have you noticed that when you click on Pepsi, it gives a dynamic transformation in shifting to its description slide? It's because we did not remove eclipse shape from slides and our morph transition is working swiftly. As you can see, all our clickable links are working perfectly. The left and right arrows are working smoothly. It's a very cool way to show your presentations. I have another video which shows beautiful transitions in slides. I will add its link at the end of the video. But if you really like this video, then do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. It keeps me motivated to bring more amazing content for you all. See you in the next video.